talk to a pod. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. So today we're talking about the Hawk to a girl being a stuck-up, entitled, dumb piece of shit. Basically, the shit I'd wipe my ass with. Basically, the shit I'd blow my fucking uh, my nose with. I think I got. I think I've gone under complete and utter sickness because of just how pissed off I am at the Hawk to a girl, dude. But, um, yeah, recently she revealed who her fucking pookie is, whatever the fuck that means. Her, she can't just say boyfriend. She can't just say the person that fills her up with that warm, sticky fucking goo. She has to be like, oh, it's my pookie. But yeah, today we're talking about the Hog 2 girl, and essentially she went on a podcast saying, uh, fuck you to the person who made her famous, who did the interview. Have you talked to that dude? Have That's you a said good thank question. you? Tell him thank you for what? Originally, the interview was for her friend, but she had to just jump in and be like, I suck dick. So, let's say you're having trouble getting it up, and you want to buy something to fix that problem. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, drop a comment. Have an amazing day. If you don't talk to her, I don't hawk to her. I'm a box muncher and I twat you. Do you want to make $50,000 on the biggest fight of the year? No, I don't because the fight's bullshit. You can't trust these slutopotamuses on the internet like Haley Welch, right? Do not bet on anything. I just went to, to the casino a few days ago, like a week back, and I lost $40 and I'm fucking pissed. All right, don't fucking gamble. Don't bet. Don't sports bet. I'm being so dead ass, okay? The risk to reward is not worth it. Don't do that shit. Am I even trying to do some fucking weird ass, like, grifty thing? Like, oh, I really I really bet a lot. And I, I've made millions betting, but don't bet. Like, no, I've made $0. Well, I guess, I guess last year I did make a lot of money betting. At my, fuck it. Do whatever you want to do. The Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight is finally here. <laughs> Look at her! Look at her! She has half a chromosome, and y'all motherfuckers are like, I'm gonna bet money and I'm gonna win. Welcome back to Talk Tua. I got Chelsea here. Okay, we're all collectively sick of seeing Chelsea. Also, again, why does everybody skip Thanksgiving? Guys, is Thanksgiving racist now? Is Thanksgiving cultural appropriation? Like, is it controversial i feel like nobody celebrates anything thanksgiving anymore it's just halloween black friday and christmas they have the whole christmas set up it's so inauthentic and fucking lame you know damn well every single year on fucking christmas Haley welch the suck dick girl i mean the hawk to a girl is just sucking cock and i know you're expecting a big episode but you just gonna have to wait a minute for us to yap how are you feeling are you nervous I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm nervous for you too. This Chelsea girl is probably so mad. I take back all of the negative things I've said in the past comparing her to this character because I was just informed that the original Hawk Tua interview was actually designed for Chelsea and not Haley Welch. That is fucking crazy. So you're feeling nervous yeah, too? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, me. What the fuck is this podcast even about, dude? And I get it. Oh, you're nitpicking. Oh, you just took out a random clip. Listen to this right back and tell me, are people jerking off to this? So you're feeling nervous? Yeah, too? just a little bit. Oh, me. Oh, me. Damn, she's such a, she's such a fucking country bumpkin. Ah, dude, she probably has a fucking ranch and shit. She probably fucking spits tobacco and shit. Are you feeling more scared or excited? I'm a little bit of both, I'd say. What about the jealousy part? I know I know that's why you didn't want to reveal them, because you didn't want other females. All of my comments comparing this person to a monster is honestly just projection, because I look like the monster. Whole time, I really find this person deeply and utterly love-making worthy. No, but then I was like, I'm sure she's cool. I'm sure we could get some, like, pina coladas on the rocks. You know, and just like vibe out and feel each other's vibe. And, you know, maybe she could like run her nails on the back of my fucking head. And then the dandruff flakes can fall off and then she could eat it. Pookie, where are you? Pookie time. It's time to see Haley Welch's fucking big old cock. Because he's a man the whole time. Russia, please. This is a this is one of America's leaders, okay? Russia, please just drop the nukes and end it. Please. Come on, we don't bite. Yay! Yay! <laughs> the moment the world's been waiting for. This is Haley Welch. Talk to a podcast. Suck dick podcast. This is her boyfriend right here. Okay, this is her boyfriend. This is a psyop. This is a government creation. Don't fucking listen to this shit. Hello like and welcome to Talk to a. Okay, look at these two individuals. Do you think this is a genuine relationship? Look at him. Look at her. 
It's all bullshit. It's all manufactured. Did you know that she signed by Jake Paul? Jake Paul signed her ass, okay? And a part of that deal was that Jake Paul gets to get a little taste every single month of what that bloody vagina fucking tastes like, okay? I thought I was supposed to say hello, everybody, first. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do from there? What am I supposed to do from there? Dude, fucking Haley Watch found herself a country bubkin boyfriend just like her. By the way, this is the most unnatural interaction between alleged significant others I've ever seen on video form. It's like you would think a little bit of that compatibility would show up on camera, but, but it's not. It's not at all. This guy's doing a fake country accent, and then the Haley Watch girl is like, oh, I guess the only way I can prove it is to hawk two of you. What do you mean? What else am I supposed to say That's right how there? I feel too. I, I just sit there. <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. How are, are you, you feeling? Are you nervous? Eh, not really. Are no. you? This whole thing's a mess. This whole thing's a fucking disaster. When does Jake Paul come to save the day? Thank you for coming on my cringy podcast. <laughs> hey, I, I don't think it's cringy. I really like where you guys are going with the science and the history of civilization and just being able to... Yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing what Jake Paul here is saying and i get the joke and it's like the talk to a podcast is actually the dumbest fucking podcast of all time and they don't talk about science or human evolution or aliens or anything like that they talk about the biggest fucking low that's ever been inside and shit it's like we don't need to hear about that dude we need a more peaceful internet and that's what i'm here to do by showcasing this degenerosity to my audience explore and break down barriers of human philosophy I still don't even know what philosophy means. You guys hear that? All you people at home sitting there at your nine to five at your job you fucking hate on your lunch break right now watching this video. You guys hear that? Fucking uh, whatever fuck, whatever fuck face his name is here. She doesn't even know. Hawk to a girl doesn't even know what the word philosophy means. You sitting there at home, I'm sure you know what philosophy means, but guess what? She has millions of dollars and you're fucking broke. You're not helping your case. And you know what? I take back all the nice things I said about talk to his friend. She does look like that fucking monster demonic spirit from the Goonies movie. She does look like this fucking creature right here. And I don't even care if it's offensive. Yeah, I'm really not. <laughs> it's okay. Right, right, right. Well, it's amazing to be here. Thank you. Well, of course. Thank you for coming on. But, uh, yeah, so the Hawk Tua girl actually addressed on a recent interview her thoughts on the person who, honestly, could really be credited towards the fame and fortunes that Hawk Tua has received because he actually recorded the interview that wasn't even meant for her it was meant for her friend but she gave him no credit no clout and this is her addressing the situation i think a thank you would have been like the bare minimum but whatever have you talked to that dude have That's you a said good thank question. you tell him thank you for what making you famous uh, well, see, we reached out to him and I asked him to stop posting those videos. See, notice how she immediately runs from all accountability. Hey, maybe thank him for making you famous. Uh, I told him to stop making those videos. Let's hear her bullshit explanation. And he never did. He blocked us all and everything. <gasps> so I'm not telling him thank you for anything. Oh, really? Wow. He blocked y'all off everything. Well, maybe it's because he wanted some credit and then y'all were being fucking bitch ass haters to him, dude. He made you where you were. I bet he regrets ever making that video. So you reached out to go, hey, would you chill on that? And he blocked yeah. you? Because I mean, he'd post one. I'd be like, oh, that's it. Here would come another one. A few days later, I was like, man, maybe that's it. Here come another one. Then just so on. So in the beginning, you just wanted it to all go away and make it stop. And you just uh -huh. continue life at home and at the Spring Factory. And then now, since he wouldn't stop, you're, You're just like, okay, what does this make possible for me? Yep. I think in the beginning, she should have fucking just shouted that guy out. Hey, shout out to fucking, you know, street interview guy, number 7,000 for his incredible work. Now I'm famous. A fucking thank you. Like, you couldn't just say th two words. Thank you. This fucking, this is the problem with society. Everybody in society right now is in a race to reach number one. They're in a race to reach the top and they view, you know, signs of respect as sh showing weakness like you can't say thank you okay whatever i have fucking parkinson's i'll see y'all later bye bye they really love me it's my turn you got a problem i let that iron bust i don't fuck with fake love you can keep that lust i don't got a drug problem but i feel the rush i am finally up don't hit my line